our tutorial part eight, which is going to cover t-tests and the t-test code. I have already um, loaded the PDF and the R markdown file into our Canvas course, um, but you might want me to talk you through it. So here we go. So for this R tutorial, as with most of my R tutorials, we're going to use the iris data that's built into R. We've got our um, variables of sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and species. There are three different types of species of iris in this data set. And I'm going to test whether, whether I can type, that's what I think I'm going to test, whether, fish. Okay, I'm going to test whether there is a difference in the mean petal length and mean sepal length. Let's first make a box plot to visualize this data. So we're doing a double box plot, so I'm going to take petal length and sepal length and compare the two. I'm going to give it a title, label my y-axis because, you know, that makes a good graph, and make it pink because pink's a happy color and I like pink. So here is our comparison. Now I know you're probably thinking, Dr. Miller, oh my gosh, of course there's a difference. Why are we even trying to conduct a test on this? Because um, I needed an example, that's why. <laughs> so we need to choose an appropriate test to carry out um, and we want, I want us to state our conclusions and report a 99.5% confidence interval. So the first thing I need to know is I need to know the mean sepal length. So my null hypothesis, uh, actually I don't need to know that, so I can get rid of that. So my null hypothesis is that there is no difference. So my mean, if I can get this to show up, so my mean, my H naught, is zero. And the alternate hypothesis is that my H is that uh, it's not, my mean is not equal to zero. So our null hypothesis is there's no difference in sepal length and lips. And the alternate hypothesis is that there is a difference in sepal length and petal length. Um, and we want to conduct a student's t-test as we do not know the population standard deviation. Uh, because of that, that means we can't conduct a z-test or a normal distribution. So here's where we can learn a little bit more about the t-test code. You put in your x and y. You can state whether it's a two-sided, less than, greater than, so left-tailed versus right-tailed. Um, you could say the mean, right? So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to compare these two. I'm going to pair this data and I get a p-value of 2.2e to the negative 16. My degrees is freedom is 149, and that makes sense, right? Because there was 150 flowers in this data set. Um, so here's my confidence interval, and my p-value is really, really low, right? It's less than 2.2 times 10 to the negative 16. So our hypo alternate hypothesis is that the different mean difference is not equal to zero, like I said before. So what we want to do is we can now, we reject the null hypothesis. So this because the p-value is very low. I would reject it anytime um, it's less than 0 0.05. I know our textbook sometimes talks about like 90% confidence intervals or even bigger than that, um, and I don't really like that. So less than a one in 20 natural chance, <clears throat> random chance of occurring is what I'd keep an eye on. So now we wanna test if there's a difference between the species of flower and sepal length. So first let's visualize this with a data plot. So friendly reminder that I have three different flower species. I got 50 of each. So what I'm doing here is I'm going ahead and I'm creating a subset for the Setosa flower, a subset for the Versicolor species of iris, and a subset for the Virginica. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot all three of those in a box plot, add some labels, make it yellow, because yellow is also a happy color. And here we have our sepal length by species. Now I look and I see, okay, I think that Setosa and Versicolor are the closest. This is Virginica, it must be like the biggest. So I'm actually just gonna compare these two. So what I had to do um, 
is go ahead and merge those data sets. This isn't something you're gonna have to do in your project, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So our null hypothesis is that there's no difference in the sebal length of cetocin versus color irises. The alternate hypothesis is there is a difference. So I merge these two data sets together, and then I wanna do a t-test where I'm comparing sepal length by species for a specific data set. So for this, it's gonna be iris two, which is our entire data set minus the virginica flower. And I get um, a p-value of 2.2 times 10 to the negative 16. So here's our two means that it had for setosa versus versicolor. So uh, our alternate hypothesis is what's true, right? There's no, the difference between the means is not equal to zero. So you reject the null hypothesis. So this tutorial shows you all the code you're gonna need for the chapter 18, 20, and 21 project. It is just one project. Um, you will have to use this code multiple times. Um, hope it helps.